How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. This new series is called Professor Palm. This series is to take you through my foot and manipulation pieces in regards to my thought process and the tips and tricks I've learned over my journey. Since this is the first episode, I'm going to let you know how I set up my foot and manipulation pieces. For portrait artworks, I usually design 3000 by 3750 pixels, and for landscape work, I set the dimensions to 5000 by 3000. These are all set to 300 dpi. As for my stock images, I get them from Envato Elements as well as Unsplash. I usually start with the background as it helps set the colors and mood of the art piece. After blending the images of the rocks with the waterfall by using a soft brush set to a low opacity, I proceed to use color balance to match the colors of both images and give them the same blue hue. Here, I dropped in another waterfall image and I used a content aware fill tool to mask out the subject that I didn't need. As you can see, I used a color balance adjustment again to get that same blue tone. Once that was done, I placed in my rock formation that would have the tree on it. I then color graded it and changed the lightness of the rock with the exposure adjustment to match the rocks surrounding it. I then started blending it into the rocks with a soft brush. I created a mask so that if I wanted to come back later, I can bring back some of the rocks if I needed to. Now I dropped in the image of the tree and used a sky selection tool to go to the sky. I then changed the size of the tree and then I placed it where I thought I fit best. I then realized that I wanted to make this a landscape piece. So I transferred it over to another file. To create the light source, I used a pen tool to create a shape. And after choosing the color white, I rasterized the layer, blurred it, lowered the opacity, and that was my light source. Then I used a magic wand tool to remove the parts that didn't get selected within the tree leaves. To create the base of the tree, I used another image of a tree, cut it out, and used the same blending and color balancing techniques as before. I noticed that the left side of my tree was blue, so to desaturate that, I painted over it with a gray soft brush and chose the saturation blending mode to get rid of that blue hue. I now created this atmospheric haze with a fog brush and blurred it to get a softer look. I then created a highlight on the right side of the tree by duplicating the tree layer and setting a white color overlay and then blurring it to give that mystical feel. At this point, I felt like the landscape was a bit empty, so I added these pointed rocks facing towards the tree to guide the viewer's eye towards the center of the piece. I then used the same color and blending techniques as before to blend the rocks to the scene. To bring the viewer's attention even more to the tree, I used a soft brush with a dark blue color, colored around the edge of the piece, and lowered the opacity to create my own vignette. I started to use particles more in my artwork, so I put them in, set the blending mode to screen, and then desaturated them to match my light source. I then adjusted the lighting of the rocks to make them match the direction of my light source. So 88% of y'all aren't subscribed to the channel, so I would really appreciate if you would do so. Also, comment down below how long you've been doing photo manipulation for. Here, I added an owl because I think owls are considered like majestic, sacred creatures in fantasy stories. So yeah, I don't know. That's why I added it. But it also helps with scale by having a small owl aside a large tree. I then did the same lighting trick I did with the tree to the owl. Finally, I added these light waves to give that added magical energy that flows through this sacred area. I used a color range tool to only select the highlights and then added them around the landscape. I then used a hue adjustment layer to give them this cyan hue to contrast the overall blue landscape. To place the light waves around the scene, I used a warp tool to manipulate its shape and direction so I can place it around the scene how I want to. 
This gives it a more free flowing energy feeling. Besides that, I'm pretty much done here. So I'll leave you here to watch the final moments of this art piece. I hope you like the final result. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click that like button. If you enjoy this series, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notified of future content. With that being said, peace out.